Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackie. Today I am in this spot called Old Town Temecula and it's kind of like a country western town. There's a specific hotel here that's said to be extremely haunted. So that's what I'm gonna go check out and kind of walk around the little town here today. And I have a special guest coming to meet me. If you guys know her, her name is Amanda and she is a straight up medium. So we're gonna go into the hotel and check it out, but I wanna give you guys a little history on the hotel first. Amanda doesn't know anything about it. So basically it's called the Palomar Inn. It's been here since the early 1920s and it's said to be haunted by Native American spirits and just some other stragglers as well. So specifically, there's this totem on the front of the hotel. Guests have reported at night that it comes to life. They've reported their mattresses moving, hearing a woman crying, someone touching them. So much stuff has happened in this hotel. It's insane. I'm excited to go check it out. So now I guess let's go wait for Amanda and check out the hotel. Oh, I need to put my mom. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, at the wolf. Oh, Good luck. No. The giant amethyst. Ooh, there's a super cool old antique place right here. Even or not, a lot of haunted stuff comes from antique shops like this, so I'm interested to see what's in here. Oh no, I see a doll. Oh. There's so much stuff. There's a lot of energy in here and it's giving me a headache. I'm gonna bring Amanda back over here and see if she feels anything. Amanda's here with Hello. Me now. And I didn't realize this, but they shut the hotel down for COVID, so All we can't go in. Rooms. All 10 <laughs> rooms, but you can see it up there. We were just in a gift shop that they converted the downstairs of a hotel into a gift shop. And it doesn't seem like much going on in there, but it does feel heavy. We're like snooping around to find somewhere we yeah, can go up to. Yeah, about the totem in front. Yeah. Everywhere has like urban legends, yeah. but Old Town Temecula is super I know. And a lot of the buildings have just been like refinished yeah. and basically kept the same. I know, I've never like seen like a town like this. Like really? all the buildings that are just like yeah. so old. But the antique shop is down there. We're gonna go to this antique shop that just feels a little weird. Yeah. There's some dolls in there and it's like, oh so. god. So we're gonna make our way down now. You and your doll. So we just made it to the antique shop and when I came in here the first time, well, I want to see if you feel anything. Bro, that one's wax. I know. It like makes my stomach twirl. It literally does me too. It's yeah, like when you it's like, date, like yes, nervous, exactly. Like I feel sick because like I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah. It. Yeah. I know. Oh, this place is huge. Right? Isn't it like overwhelming? Yes. There's so much. I know. There's so much. Oh my gosh. It smells like my grandma. I know, I know. I just There's... like as a person, I hate that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh the hair. It makes me Why so Why doesn't nervous. it have ears? God, uh, there's just so much in here. I don't know if it's just like that. There's so much stuff that it's overwhelming me. Or yeah, well, you have to think too. Like all of this came from people's houses. Yeah, like, that's what's crazy to me. Like pretty much everything here is somebody who's dead. That's true. That's true. Wow. Do you see anyone in here? Uh, there was a couple here when we really? walked in that was standing by the clock that I stopped at. I don't oh. have any relation to the clock. I Interesting. Like, I don't like, like good hostesses. Oh my god, like welcoming oh my god. us. Oh my god, the conductor's hat. Hello. You would look so good in that. <laughs> I know, okay. I, need, I need it. What are you up to? Georgetown Loop Railroad. I don't think it's gonna fit. 
Is this her toddler? I know. I'm listening, sorry. Wow. There's like so many. Oh my god. Oh, really? That's dangerous. These are. <gasps> these are so heavy. You could do damage with these. Okay, the doll's right here. She seems like kind of a bit. <laughs> why is she? Why did she gotta look like us? I know. <laughs> Blonde hair and brown eyes. Yeah. Then there I am. This one makes me nervous. Ew! 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 Oh, that. The hands. Oh, like the, the hands. hands oh, they totally are. That? Yes. Uh, they're either from Africa or Bali or somewhere. What's wrong with them? The person who made them definitely had some shit going on. Like what? Like, messed with witchcraft. I, I told my mom, I'm like, one of these artifacts you brought back from somewhere put up something bad in this house. It's these things. It, I, mean, I hate this it. This one, like... I always have back pain, but this one I feel like somebody's like literally stabbing me. Really? Yeah. With that one? Yeah. Weird. Like, that one's horrible. Ew, I don't like it. This place is ginormous. I know. It's like too much. The butts. Oh. Like somebody paid money to have that made. I know. I know. Sweetie, why? Ew. Sweetie, why? Sweetie, why? getting a headache. Oh, those shoes are for creeping me out. This one has a man attached to it. Really? Yeah, he's like very abusive. Like he had two kids. And oh my gosh. With this? Was it yeah, his? Bulls? Yeah, it was his. It was like his favorite thing in the house. It's yeah. giving me like the chills. Ooh. I like don't even want to be near it. And now that one I feel like someone's pushing on my chest. Yeah. Wow, he's mad in here. Yeah, he's like pure. He was like definitely like really short on temper, and he oh. still is. Like that's what's so crazy to me. Like normally when I come across people, they're pretty positive. Yeah. You know, because they always have a message from someone. Uh huh. Like, they don't normally deal with stuff like this. Yeah. So to come here, like there are definitely some people attached to these items. Oh my gosh. I think is that a mirror? Yeah. I think I saw him in the reflection. The man? Yeah, is he like this he's tall? Yeah. He's got like brown hair. Yeah. yeah. Is it kind of like brushed over to yeah, the side? He's like bad hair. Yeah. Oh. It's like he's kind like of probably from the 70s. Or 80s. Yeah, that's what I did. With like the sideburns kind yes. of. Yes. No facial that's hair. Cr yeah, that's it reminds me of someone from Anchorman. Just like a background <laughs> guy. <laughs> No, but I saw like in the reflection for a second. Oh, that's disturbing. What is he holding? A candle? I don't know. His eyes are like going two different directions. Someone did not do a good job on No, he did terrible. I could do anything. I know. I tried to whittle a bar of soap once into a duck and it just didn't work out. I also get super weird feelings from this one. This gold. Oh. I wish they had like information on them. I know. Like, prices and stuff. Does it like overwhelm you in here? Yeah, it's kind of a lot. Yeah. But it's like not all necessarily bad. We can go out if you want. I'm down from whichever. Okay. Let's see. Should we go down to that end? Yeah. Okay. This is huge. I know. I know. <laughs> Antique fair. It does. I this was a turtle. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> nice clock. <laughs> Wait, what? Nice clock. <laughs> Is that a rooster? <laughs> no, I think I think a clock and a rooster are the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. Like from SpongeBob. Do you know the hat he wears? You know what I mean? Yes. Oh my gosh. Which episode is that one? This? Every time, like, I'm gonna know which episode of Spongebob it is. <laughs> Do you watch Spongebob? Oh, absolutely. Okay, all right. Not anymore, I don't have like cable. Yeah, I don't watch anymore, but. So weird. Oh, ew. 
Like, I can't believe people buy this stuff. That's what I'm saying. It seems like it's all junk. Yeah, so no, totally. Oh, I, just, oh, I just got so dizzy in this section. Yeah, that section. What the lightest stuff there? No. That, yeah. But that last, last section was horrible. Yeah. Indica. <laughs> you need that. <laughs> that fur coat I hate. Oh. Why does that remind me of Shrek? That is Lord Farquaad 100%. There he is. Lord Farquaad for sure. Grace. Hmm. Oh. The name on the inside is literally in like perfect condition. That's crazy. What is it? A Catholic Bible? Yeah. 1970. Wow. 1984 to 1985 edition. Can you hold this? I feel like we should flip through it for some yeah. reason. Oh. Are you looking for something to like pop out? Yeah, kind of. New Testament. What the hell? This is so weird. This is really weird. Like, why would you what? baptize? What church? I've never seen something like this. Have you? No, and I grew up in a really religious household. Yeah. My stomach's doing that thing again. The holy sacrifice of the mass. The author's apology. This has a weird vibe. It really does. It's like, did I? Like, almost like, I don't, I don't even want to say it. Like, someone did something bad. Yeah. To like kids. I was thinking like sex or something. Really? It and just feels dark. No, no, there's something in here that I'll find. What is this called? The, just the Holy Bible, but it's like such yeah, a weird um, thing. I'm not gonna put it down. So yeah. <laughs> the little. That was unsettling, though. Yeah, I was not What's that? I can not feel it. Look at like it's little. Whoa. Like you can That's crazy. <gasps> It's held together by like wooden screws. I know, I'm gonna screw back in, I don't know. Yeah. So that, that Bible she picked up, it just had like a really weird, heavy vibe. Like yeah. someone who owned it, like did something bad. But what is that? Is this like for photos? Is it? Yeah. But it's not like, a, like where you can put them in That's... a slot. Oh my gosh, it's like a, oh my God. I feel like she's staring Russian. at me. Yes. Russian I woman. Love, I would love to put a bird in that though. If that cool oh, so he would. He'd feel so rustic. <laughs> I had a bird next. What happened? Oh, uh, he's an asshole. Like so Oh, mean. really? Yeah, I wanted one more than anything. I got him for my birthday when I was uh -huh. like, pretty young. <laughs> the flutters. Guys, we just came across Zoltar. And you already know the medium has to try this. Oh wait, is it cash only or does it take card? Oh uh, no, maybe it's cash only. Here, I have cash. <gasps> I just won money at the casino. <gasps> Ooh, I'm a gambler. Way. Here. I am Zoltar, oh, okay. the great GT. Oh, all right. And I can see your fortune. Cool. Come see it too. Hear your fortune from Zoltar. Ah yes, it <laughs> looks like today must be your lucky day. For I see relaxation in your future. Have oh. no worries about your troubles, my friend. Zotar has wisdom enough to conquer them all. What's that? Oh, no. <laughs> ah, this is gonna make me look sad. Oh no! <laughs> Well, sad. Maybe it's for me then. Recent solitude has led you to feel lonely. Cheer up, my friend. Things are not as bad as they seem. <laughs> it's time to change your perspective and take action. Even a caterpillar spends time in isolation oh. until it gets its wings. Stop weeping. <laughs> oh no. Um, and start doing things that fulfill you. Read a book, go outside, or watch an inspiring movie. You realize that solitude is bliss, and doing the activities in your free time that fulfill you will lead you to a more fulfilled life. Like I I know. Uh, I'm not that sad. Yeah, it might be for me. Who knows? 
Oh, like cat pats on my cats. Today. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is a lot I mean, about who I am as a person. I was gonna go to her house and I was like, I've had a stressful week. She's like, I'll put a hat on my cat to make you feel better. Like that's my like, band aid. Please. <laughs> That'll make me feel so much better. But was that your mom right. calling you? Yeah. Did I you think decline so. her? Yeah, we were just walking by it. It is, go ahead. One, it is a 30 minute escape room. Whoa. And I just finished it like 10 days ago. That's so, so cool. This is a make. Can we go inside? Just don't touch anything. Okay. What are you doing here? You have to try to get out. Oh my god. Yeah. Amanda, we need to come back here. Oh, we gotta bring it out. Don't touch anything. Yeah. Oh, hello. It's an Area 51 escape yeah. room. I I've never I done an escape room before. You, you This yeah. is the perfect one to start with. To be hey, honest, what's your call? It's Area 51. I'm not the it's shadow. Oh, Area 51. The shed. Do I stand a chance? <laughs> I know, right? I feel like we'd be in here like <laughs> uh, Wow. Okay. Comment on this video if you want us to come back here and try this escape room. Look at all the aliens. Look at them. We can't, it literally just opened, so yeah. we can't touch it. Yeah, we can't, this is a sneak peek. This is so cool. Old Town to my so good. Okay, and that is where the video wraps up. It's actually the next day, but we weren't able to do the escape room just because we were short on time. But let me know if you want to see us go back there and do that Area 51 escape room. It looks super cool. But yeah, Old Town Temecula was super fun. That antique shop was really fun. Just going in there and feeling the energies connected to the objects was just... It just was really cool. So that's something me and Amanda want to start doing more is going to antique shops and just picking up on the energies that are in there. If you want me to do more of these vlogs, comment down below and I'll start doing more. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to Amanda. She just made a brand new YouTube channel and is gonna start posting there, so I'll link it down there. And she also posts on TikTok pretty often, so that'll be linked down there as well. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.